guys, welcome back to my channel. I am literally so excited for this video because I got the Morphe Times James Charles palette. As you can see, this palette is humongo. So I love this palette already just looking at it before I even did my makeup because it has your warm colors, your cool colors, your highlighter, setting powder, contour, your black, your neutrals, and your foiled shadows. So this is like a one and done palette. You can literally do your whole face with this palette and it's a lot bigger than like a regular size palette if you guys can tell. So I was really, really excited to get my hands on this. It's been sold out for so long. That's why I finally just got my hands on this palette. So I came up with this look today. I am obsessed with how this turned out. So if you guys wanna see this gorgeous cut crease, blown out, smoky eye, then keep on watching. <laughs> Okay guys, moment of truth. I am literally so freaking excited. This has been a long time coming. I've been waiting for this palette, so I am pumped. Going into this pink shade along with the shade beside it, and I'm just gonna blend this into the outer part of my eye. As you can see that this is super pigmented and it's really not taking me any effort to put this into my eye. I created this like blown out look super, super quickly with only two dips, which is pretty insane. And I'm just doing little circular motions in the crease of my eye, kind of following a C shape into the crease and then extending it slightly towards my temple. I'm just going back in, layering the product to really deepen this up and give it the most pigment possible. So I started off with the light pink mixed in with this dark pink, but now I'm just using this dark pink and we're just gonna start deepening this up into the outer crease of my eye to create a little bit more dimension and a little bit more depth. And I am using a tiny brush. This is the Morphe 506, one of my absolute favorite brushes. I'm dipping into that purple shade right below the pink shade that we used and I'm just gonna start deepening this up, always building in layers from the lightest colors to the darker colors to the darkest colors so that everything has just a really nice, gorgeous blend and it's gonna be so much easier to blend in for you. Next, I'm picking up a touch of this black mixed in with the purple and we're just gonna start darkening this into the very, very edge of my eye, not bringing this up too high because we want everything to have a really, really nice transition to lightest to darkest so it has that really gorgeous ombre effect. I feel like James Charles rocks a cut crease every now and again. That's kind of what I envision when I think of him. I envision colorful, cut crease, sharp, blown out. So I'm kind of just channeling a little bit of James Charles. So I'm grabbing my Makeup Forever Ultra HD Concealer. I like this concealer for cutting the crease because it's nice and has a really lightweight consistency. And we're just taking our time, being really, really patient and just getting that really nice, clean, sharp line. My biggest tip if you are doing this is to just use a super super tiny defined brush is going to make your life so much easier another little technique that I always do that helps me so much blend the product in is use the warmth of my finger and just buff it in place before I go in and set it with an eyeshadow and that really just helps the colors melt together now I'm gonna go into this bright pink yellow we're gonna do like a really nice colorful eye and I'm just popping this on the very inner part of my eyelid as you can see this is so freaking bright and I'm really surprised how bright it is considering that there is no base like no um, cream yellow first put down and as you can see the pink is the same it is crazy like I was in shock at how pigmented these were so now I'm just kind of diffusing the two colors together a little bit of the yellow into the pink to make a nice little orange and of course what comes after pink on the rainbow is red I think <laughs> so now we are just going to diffuse the pink into a red I just want this to have a really really nice gradient and I'm just building up the color layering it to give it the most vibrance possible Next up, I'm going into my Tarte Liquid Eyeliner. I have not used this liner in a hot minute and it is so black and intense, I'm obsessed. So I'm doing a nice little band on my eye and then I'm just slowly going to blow it out and diffuse it into my eyeshadow. Recently, I love doing like a liner, but I like when it's diffused into the eyeshadow so it almost looks like just a part of the eyeshadow, if you know what I mean. So as you can see, I'm just taking my time and kind of blowing it out slowly. Okay guys, I am jumping to my face before I finish off with the eyes. So far, I am literally obsessed. This pigment is like no other. So I'm gonna be trying out a new primer today. This is the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. 
This was in the bag at Mario's master class in the swag bag. I never tried this, so I'm going to put this all over my face. I feel like I have a love-hate relationship with primers. Some primers work so amazing on me and some primers literally ruin my whole makeup. So I hope that this goes okay. Usually Tatcha is a pretty good brand, so. I have high hopes. Next up, I'm gonna be using my Makeup Forever Ultra HD Stick Foundation. Um, just because I'm using a new primer, I'm gonna stick to a foundation that I know works for me. Um, I did recently get a bunch of new foundations, so I will have to test those out, but just going with the one that works. I'm gonna mix a touch of this darker shade in because I don't have my proper shade. I absolutely love this foundation if you are somebody that likes full coverage or you have dry skin. It's super creamy and gives you a really nice like dewy finish. Or you can set it with a powder and get more of a matte finish, but I feel like this foundation is super versatile and you can achieve so many different looks with it. That's why I really like it. I'm gonna go ahead and put on my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This is in the shade Light and I'm just gonna do a little bit under the eyes, on the bridge of the nose, on the forehead and on the chin. We're gonna be contouring with my best friend, the Pure Cosmetics Camel Contour Stick. I rave about these all the time, guys. They're the best. So I pretty much do this on myself every single day and it's not even like I'm contouring necessarily, I'm just kind of warming up my face. Um, because I'm super pale right now, unfortunately. So this just gives a little bit of warmth to my skin and it helps the bronzer kind of stick in place and not move. So it's not like I'm contouring every single day like I am contouring every single day, but you know, doing this just really helps the bronzer and powders walk into my face and it gives me more of like that bronzy sun kiss look. Okay, now we are going to bronze up my face some more. This is the Hula Bronzer by Benefit. I love this because it's not too much of like an orangey undertone. It's pretty cool. So it's kind of like you're contouring your face and bronzing all in one. So I love this one. I'm using a pretty big fluffy brush and we're just going to start working this all over. I'm also bringing this onto my neck just to kind of help everything blend into place. So recently I tested out the Peach Perfect Setting Powder by Too Faced. And honestly, like setting powder, translucent powder, do you really notice a difference like right away? Usually not. Honest to God, as soon as I use this right away, it gave me like such a blurring effect. And ever since I started using it a week ago, I like cannot put it down. I've never used a setting powder that like works so instantly and I can see results so quickly. So I definitely recommend this right here. And it also smells so delicious. I like need to get this in a perfume, I think. I'm gonna go ahead and apply some blush. This is the NARS Orgasm Blush. We're just gonna do the apples on my cheek and then just kind of bringing it back. Jumping back to the eyes, I am going to just smoke this out with a touch of the purple mixed in with the black just to pull this eye look together. Next, I'm going into this really pretty foiled purple eyeshadow and I'm just layering it on. I really like it. I feel like it's meant to be layered on top of a product and I love that it just gives that really nice sheen sparkle. You can't see as much in the studio lights, but in natural light, it just gives such a gorgeous glow. I try to capture it. I try to get real close, but in natural light, you can really see it. Okay, moving on to the face highlight, we're gonna go into this bad boy right here. And we're just gonna start highlighting the face. I use the white highlighter to highlight my nose and my lips, but for the cheeks, usually you wanna use something a little bit more, um, with a little bit more color. I'm going to pop on these Kiss Teddy Lashes. Super wispy. I feel like whenever you do eye makeup looks that are cool, you don't wanna use the lashes that are super 
thick because you're not going to be able to see your eyelids, especially if you have like smaller eyelids. Um, unfortunate. I have pretty big eyelids, but you know, you got to pay attention to those things. So whenever you are using a new pair of lashes, you just want to bend the band so that it's easier to manipulate your eye shape. I decided this needed a little bit more oomph, so I popped in that yellow right into my lash line to really pop my eyes. Okay guys, we're at the home stretch. I'm going to finish off with my lips. I'm just gonna do a nice nude lip. Okay, so I'm gonna use the same formula that I always use. I'm sorry guys. This is Pop Beauty times Meg's Pale Baby. I'm gonna put this all over my lips first. And then I'm gonna go into this Bare Mineral Smooch Lipstick and it's such a pretty pink shade. I like to put that right in the center to kind of create a little bit of a pout to make my lips look uh, bigger. So I'm just gonna do a little bit right here. It smells so good too. And this is the Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil in the shade Anywhere Caffeine. guys so here is the finished look I am seriously obsessed with this makeup look I don't think I've ever seen my eyes look so vibrant without like a cream eyeshadow as a base which I don't have any base on and my eye color is like in the old face which I'm obsessed I love supporting people that are just kicking butt in the industry I love Carly Bible so I got some of her um, new phone cases I love Jamie Charles I just love supporting people that I love and I think it's really, really important to show your support to people that you look up to and your mentors and people that inspire you so that they know to just keep on inspiring you. You know what I mean? So my thoughts on this palette, the pigments are seriously insane. I love that you can do like your whole face pretty much with this palette. It's like a one and done. I also dipped into a few of the foiled shadows and kind of just dusted them on the outer um, parts of my eye to just give it a really nice sheen. And I like that they weren't overkill. I mean, if you swatch them, yeah, they're kind of like meant to be layered on top of a color, which I actually really, really like. Overall, I'm obsessed. I love this makeup look. If you guys wanna see more looks with this palette, let me know down below. It's funny because this week I was kind of having a little bit of a rut and sometimes being in a creative industry, if you're an artist, makeup artist, hairdresser, whatever you are, sometimes you have ruts because if you're not in that creative mindset, you can't create content. and Creating content is your job. It can be kind of depressing. So this week was kind of tough for me. I just wasn't finding my groove. I was feeling really down and I was feeling guilty because I wasn't filming content, but you can't really film content when you're just not feeling it. So I was kind of feeling down. I got this palette and instantly just had so many ideas in my head. And I think when you create a palette that can inspire so many people and give them so many ideas, you've really hit the jackpot. So James, Morphe, Linda, I think you killed this palette and I'm so excited for you. I'm so proud of James and I just think he is literally killing the game. Um, I hope that one day I can have my own palette and inspire other people like he's inspiring. So many people out there, so fingers crossed. I love you guys so much and if you guys wanna see more, subscribe to my channel down below. Click the bell in the top right corner to be notified every single time I post. And follow me on Instagram, Julia Dantis Beauty. I will be doing a really big giveaway this week, so stay tuned for that. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. I'll take care of you.